the website sahararreporters.com reported on the real reason why President Buhari's wife Aisha traveled to Dubai. They claim a source reliably informed Sahara reporters that Mrs. Buhari's travel was packaged to look like a health emergency in order not to raise eyebrows for violating government's restriction on international flights due to the C virus. They reported that Aisha Buhari, who is Nigeria's President Buhari's wife, who was said to have been flown to United Arab Emirates during the Salah break over a severe neck pain. They reported that on Monday that Mrs. Buhari actually flew to Dubai in a jet belonging to a billionaire, Mohammed Indimi, for the purpose of shopping for luxury items in preparation for the wedding of her daughter, Hanan. Dubai is a popular destination for Nigerians, especially the wealthy class seeking quality and expensive items for personal use and grand ceremonies. So the source claims that Mrs. Buhari travel was packaged to look like a health emergency in order not to raise eyebrows for violating government's restrictions on international flights due to the C virus outbreak. The Nigerian government had banned any international travel since March 23rd. So the source also claims that it was all planned and her doctor is in London, not Dubai. She traveled to shop for luxury items ahead of Hanan's wedding. So since there's a ban on international flights by the government, the best way for her to travel was under the disguise of medical care. You guys, I am genuinely tired of reporting these things coming out of Nigeria and other African countries. The leaders are just corrupt. The leaders took full advantage of the people, the people's money and live their life as they please and to be honest i don't see any change coming anytime soon if these people are going to continue being in the leadership role we're just going to keep shouting screaming complaining there will be no change but think about this because there was an international travel ban um, they decided to come up with something that is health issues uh, oh my neck hurts and she goes um, and it turns out the source claims that she went to shop for her daughter's wedding and you guys I just have no words this is the same daughter early this year in 2020 she took the presidential jet to go have a photograph session she's a graduate or she's in school for photography that's her passion so why not take daddy's jet um, to go take photographs so this is the same girl and the same girl that got a man arrested for 10 months for no reason the guy acquired her sim card her number from mtn because she abandoned it mtn relocated that number to somebody else and the guy was using it so she got him arrested and he was in jail for 10 months before he was released imagine so this these are the family that are uh, running uh, nigeria basically but i'm sure they see nothing wrong with that because even when she went to the daughter hanan went uh, for photography session when people were going crazy on twitter and saying why in the world would she travel with a private jet um, with the presidential jet that's our money what they came out and said was um, this is this is normal we we do this 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 is not out of the ordinary so basically deal with it so if they see no problem with that i don't think they'll see any problem with the mother traveling to dubai for shopping for her daughter even if there is a travel ban even if there's a virus and even if she's lying when she's going basically because she said her neck hurts even though her doctors are in london which in the first place I have an issue with. Their doctors, their specialists, you know, are abroad. Their kids go to school abroad and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you guys. That's what she did. That's what the source claims. And she is shopping in Dubai at the moment. I don't know if she's back or not. I hope she found what she was looking for unless and otherwise um, the leadership is removed i don't think nigeria will see a better future i'll be honest because the corruption is ex it's getting extreme maybe it's because we're hearing about it now be more than before you know now with the social media we got we get information real quickly and with if you remember i reported about the anti-corruption guy himself 
re-looting the looted funds that his his organization uh, saved from corruption and then he took it again himself and he's he's in prison right now i think he's waiting for court date and with all the corruption coming out just this month we reported about the nigerian official who fainted when he was being asked where the funds went and the, the money that was allocated to the, for the virus gone the money for the roads gone the money for the hospitals gone so at they will they will suck nigeria dry if these people are not removed that 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 seems to be um the main takeaway for me for from all this information we're getting i think um they'll see a better future once you know a better leadership is in place and you know they're really rich in oil and I hope the next generation doesn't lose all the natural resources and money uh, because of this specific power loving leaders that we have and sometimes it feels like we're cursed when it comes to leadership and the ones we have are just incompetent that's the word for it they're just incompetent and add that with greed incompetence with greed it's a disaster. So you guys, that's the update from Nigeria. I am Wengel Zalala bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.